Hey friends, today I'm grinding with Creekside. I am excited because I have a, a chore and a fun project, but the chore is gonna be super easy, but it is something that we need to do. We are going to trim our white shishi camellias that are right here on the patio. So I'm gonna show you how to properly prune a camellia if you need to. Then the fun project is we are gonna to move to the front side of the house, the front porch, and we are going to rework the aqua pot that I have on my front porch. I have a very special guest coming to visit us today for the very first time, and I'll, I need to freshen some things up on the front porch because I still had some of the pieces in there from the Christmas arrangement. So I wanna spruce that up for my special guest that will be coming sometime today. So stinking excited to have her here at the house. Uh, stay tuned because I will show you uh, who she is when she gets here. So. We're gonna do that. So first, work and then play. Here we are, right, right off the patio. Clearly, it is a very sunny, gorgeous day. It is, this can be one of the trickiest spots for us to film because unless you get here literally before daybreak or way late in the afternoon when the sun goes down, this spot is in full sun. So just forgive me for the full sun. We are gonna do the best that we can do today. I have three white shishi camellias. These are from our folks over at Southern Living Plant Collection. They gave these to me several years ago. It was even before we had the patio built. And I knew exactly that this is where I wanted to put them because the white shishi does not get tall. Um, clearly, this would be a very bad spot to have a tall camellia. White shishi stays nice and um, small. I'll have all the specs up there for you on the screen. But she does a beautiful double white flower. It is gorgeous. It is is a sasanqua. I can tell that because it has small leaves and that means that it's going to bloom in the fall through um, early winter. So really about depends on the season. It could be um, late September through November. Beautiful display of pure white flowers. That is why I put white shishi here. I am trying to keep her nice and compact, not in a perfect ball. I don't want her in a ball. I like that she is free form, but there's a couple little nicks and nip, nips and tucks that we need to do on her. And also I'm going to go ahead and fertilize her. So I want to show you exactly how to do that. If you're going to prune your camellias, camellias bloom on old growth. So you want to do that. Um, Sasanquas can be done now because they're a fall bloomer. So you do it now. If you have japonicas that are blooming currently, you want to wait until their bloom season is over. So as soon as they get finished blooming, then go ahead and prune them. Some camellias don't need to be pruned. If you have them in the right spot and they're the right size for your spot, you may not even have to prune them. So pruning is not absolutely necessary because these bloom on old growth. So never prune your camellias in late summer, fall, early winter. If you do that, you're cutting off all all of your flowers and that's just going to be sad so don't do that early early spring is the best time to prune all camellias if needed so let me show you exactly how i'm going to do it all right so here i have my sweet little uh white shishi i've got my clippers and i have got my bucket so basically all i'm doing is i'm going to take off these ones that are kind of long and sticking above again come right back like, all the other shrubs come right above where you have two limbs and trim that. So when you do that, it just makes it nice and tight and it won't get too leggy. Because this is on the patio, um, I am keeping it within its parameters. So I'm not trying to over prune it. I just don't want it to be leggy. I want it to be nice and thick and full inside. So that is why I come in and I'm gently giving it a haircut. So ladies, when you go and get your haircut and you don't want a brand new do, you're just getting a very light trim. So that is what we are doing to Miss White Shishi. This is my longest limb. So I'm gonna take it um, back, quote, the furthest little trim, boom. So that is it. You would not know, um, unless you just saw me, that I pruned this. So if you walked up right now, you wouldn't go, oh my, Jenny just pruned this camellia. That is it, that's all I'm doing. Now, if you have a massive, huge camellia that you need to prune back, you can do that. 
you can pretty much safely take any shrub back by half. If you take it back by half, you should not have to be worried about damaging it as far as like killing it and doing it at the right time of year. You will be just fine. Now, camellias love acidic soil conditions and so fertilizer, the best one is the Hollytone. Hollytone from um, our folks over at Espoma. So all you do is this is a great time to do it. We're going to pull back our mulch right here. Um, and just like, you know, just exactly how you would prune your hydrangeas or any other kind of shrub, get it and give it a nice shake. Obviously follow the directions on the container and it will not lead you astray. If you can do this right before you get rain, then that would be great because obviously it's going to water it in. It is supposed to rain tomorrow, so that's great. If it's not going to rain anytime soon, go ahead and give it a little dose of water. That way it can start getting your fertilizer um, active and very happy. Simple as that. I'm at the end of the bag, so I'm just going to do a little shaky shaky. Um, but it will tell you on the bag as far as like the size of the, of the shrub and how much to apply and then just put your mulch back and easy as that it is all done so boom spend a little bit of time getting your camellias pruned fertilized you will be grateful in the fall and the winter so i've got two more to do and then we're going to move to the front porch friends so we have got all three of the camellias trimmed and fertilized super super easy just taking that I don't know total time it took to do that was less than 10 minutes but doing that right now it just makes the world of difference later on in the growing season and then of course when they do bloom so my little chore for the day is done now we're going to move to the front porch and have some fun putting together a uh, winter let's see not winter well we are technically a winter a late winter early spring cold hardy perennial mixture that will look really nice that can stay in that aqua pot um, I have a couple of little tricks for you that I'm going to use um, until I am ready to plant my spring annuals in there so let's move over to the front porch and have some fun all right my friends so here we are on the front porch and I have beside of me this lovely blue aqua pot that we've had here for quite a few years now this is um i do leave this one out year round because it is obviously well under our porch it does not get any kind of water on it or in it unless i'm the one that puts it in there the reason that we don't use aquapot sometimes year round here is because some of our nights um, in the winter time could get a little iffy and I don't want it to crack, right? So if the water in the bottom of the pot freezes, expands, and it could crack the aqua pot, I don't want that to happen. Under here, I have no worries about that. It is perfectly fine. This place has been neglected since uh, Christmas time and um, I'm ashamed, not ashamed to say that the Christmas arrangement stayed in here uh, till about two weeks ago. And so that's just how life is going around here. But with this fantastic sweet friend of mine coming to visit me, obviously I want to dress it up and make it look nice. So why not just go ahead and put the effort in so that we can enjoy it all the time, right? This will stay in here until I put my spring summer annuals in it, which will probably be at least a month, six weeks from now. So we will get plenty of enjoyment out of it. I'm going to use perennials shade loving perennials and then a tree all of this happens to be from proven winners so i have the north pole arborvitae is a tree um, 
Obviously in this pot for six weeks, it is not really gonna grow that much. I don't want it to grow that much. And I'm using it for my height and my structure in the back. It is currently in a three gallon pot. At first, I was just gonna kind of fake plant everything, like leave them in their pots and then just set them down into the aqua pot because there's still soil still in there. But I think I am just gonna go ahead and plant them. That way they can grow as far as like getting nutrients to them and be happy. So the North Pole is going to be in there as my um, background and my structure. Then I have two brand new perennials that are going to be, I think they're available this year. Super excited about this. When we went to go visit Panoramic Farms two weeks ago, that was, or a week, I don't even know, I don't even know where I am, y'all. I think it was a week ago. Um, Kata with Walters Gardens was there and she had plant displays. Well, when they nurseries will bring plants out to shows and all that kind of stuff they can't take those plants back and put them back in the greenhouse you know this sanitation and traveling so they give the plants away so i was able to snag two of each of these this is a brand new artemisia this is silver lining look at that isn't that beautiful nice silver foliage perfect for containers or the landscape it will trail over um, but what's great about being in the landscape is that as it spreads it doesn't root so it makes a really nice way to clean up this will be 12 to 16 inches tall hardy in zones four to nine and minimum spacing is about three feet so when you let it go it will be very very nice um, then we have a new Eucarella. This is Fun and Games Capture the Flag. Look at that. I love the color on this plant. So really nice. And Kata said this would be a great one even for the South. Sometimes with the Eucarellas, we kind of stay away from them here. Um, but this one, she said, is great for the South. So when she had two little ones, I grabbed them. Hardy in zones four to nine. It will be only eight to 10 inches tall and 16 inches wide on that. Gorgeous. And it kind of pairs really nicely. Do you see that? The red picking up with my front door. <laughs> look at them apples so I've got two of each of these I might plant them um, for today in the aqua pot for sake of getting some big oomph I'll plant both of the silver linings together and both of the capture the flags make a little bit more of an impact that way with all of these perennials well everything actually um, the tree too obviously is that when I'm done with this and I plant my spring summer annuals I will take these out and use them in other parts of the garden so nothing is going to waste here now I haven't decided if I want to use the heaven scent or the pink of blue as a filler I'm leaning a little bit more towards the heaven scent heaven scent we've talked about so many times it is a beautiful perennial that is flowering right now and you can see hopefully I'm running the camera by myself y'all so give me a little grace please um, look at those flowers again I'm hoping that it's focusing give me a second let's see maybe that'll work maybe maybe but it has a really nice fern like foliage beautiful true blue flowers definitely a shade perennial for us i like the texture on that and then of course the pink and blue um, pulmonaria uh, it's not quite i mean obviously it's flowering not as full and i really just think i like the um, color texture shape of the heaven scent so we're going to go with that the soil is in there i'm going to use that soil uh, because this is a temporary planting, I'm not gonna overthink this. I'm just gonna put it in there and then my porch is absolutely covered in pollen. So I'm gonna wash off my porch. If you're a southerner or if you are somewhere in the country that deals with a ton of pollen in the spring, you understand about washing your porches. We do that multiple times throughout the spring season. So I am gonna do that. You will see rivers of yellow falling off my porch. So when I wash the porch off, I will go ahead and hit the aqua pot and make sure these are well watered in there. Again, not overthinking it. I'm not using biotone. It's literally in there for like a month, six weeks at most. I'm just not gonna waste my biotone on that. So I'm just gonna have some fun getting this together and I'll see you back here in a second.
All right, my friends. So today's project is complete. I feel very accomplished. Camellias are trimmed. They are fertilized. I got the beautiful aqua pot planted with this beautiful North Pole Arborvitae. Some brand new on the market Eucarellas. My favorite of all times, not all times, one of my favorites definitely for the shade is the Heaven Scent and then the brand new Silver Lining Artemisia. This is going to be a great shade planter that is going to get me through late winter into um, really kind of like early mid spring because I don't want to plant my annuals too early here and obviously this is going to be shade so this is a cooler area so I'll wait a little bit longer to plant my front porch than um, say out in the full hot sun because I need these plants to do well here in the full shade. I love this. I think my guest is going to approve. My guest is known for her container arrangements. I mean like stunning, drooling, gorgeous, whether it's a container or window box. She has just a magnificent gift for putting colors and textures and creations together. Is this as like as spectacular maybe as some of hers? Probably not, but this is a very much a Jenny style and that's okay. We are different. We don't have to compete against one another. I appreciate her, what she does. She appreciates what I do. And this just makes me happy. It's gonna get us through. It looks so much better than what was here, which was a uh, Fuja Green Giant that had kind of dried out and was looking sad. And so this is a massive improvement and just looks nice and neat and tidy and beautiful got the porch washed off got all the pollen off that will probably last for all of five minutes because tis the season and here in the south we have massive pollen season in the spring between the pine trees the oaks the poplars i mean they just drop it all i even rinsed off the uh, rocking chairs to get everything off i try to do the windows and the siding because it just pollen sticks to everything I'll probably do this three or four times, you know, throughout the season just to keep things tidy. Whenever I do a video with um, including my rocking chairs, whether it's the front porch or the back porch, people always ask where I got my rocking chairs. I bought them online from Sam's Club. Yep. They are the best rocking chairs. So if you have a Sam's Club membership, go online, order them there. I just order them and they have them shipped to me. They come in all sorts of different colors and uh, they tend to be kind of like a seasonal item. So going into summer, they should have them online now. Um, but yeah, they're great. These are just black. Love, love, love them. I had bought some other ones from a different company. Jerry was like, mm -mm, I don't like these. I like our other ones. So. They got moved out to the pines and I ordered more of the ones from Sam's Club. But if you're interested, there you go. So uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you who my sweet special guest is. Cannot wait to see her. She's in the state. So I saw that they crossed over the state line. So huh, yeah, we're going to have fun tonight. It's going to be good. Good afternoon. We're going to go out to dinner tonight. Lots of fun. Can't wait to uh, reveal who the guest is. Anyway, as always, thanks so much for going with Creekside. Y'all have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends. It's Jenny! Hey, friends! Everybody guessed. Did they? Everybody guessed. Oh, it's because we're such good friends. That's I why. know. Jenny and they did guess Daniel. Look at Daniel sent me with a bouquet for Jenny. Daniel, thank you so much. These are stunning. Oh, they look so They're good gorgeous. Your hat. I saw what and you Jenny, were wearing. We no, I saw what you were wearing this morning. I was like, <laughs> how can I coordinate? <laughs> Brenda, oh. has, Brenda has on her pink scarf, oh, too. Oh, cute. So, oh, love it. Anyway. So, thank oh, you so much for this. Amazing we are as excited to have oh. her. I was so excited to see it. We're going to get into some mischief. Flowers, and they're mowing the lawn already, and I'm like, I love the smell. <laughs> Cut grass. <laughs> We did it just so for you, great. So it's gorgeous. Oh, everything is beautiful. The whole setting. <gasps> I haven't even went up to the greenhouse yet, but look. We went to bed and it was just snowing a little bit. Such a pretty area. Oh, I love it.